Welcome to MG Dorfers, guys. Here, we believe in the quality of our stock, not the quantity of them. My name is Marina, and these are my sheep. Welcome to my business. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It is another day. Um, today is Tuesday, and today I'm gonna be getting everything prepped for the show. So this includes, we're going to be getting the feed set up, everything loaded up in the trailer, so I don't have to do it Thursday or Friday morning. Um, and then we're gonna be cleaning the pens. So I'm gonna start with the pens, um, and then we'll move and then put the feed in the trailer. I still have my horse tack in the trailer from yesterday's drill practice, so I need to unload that, and then I'll put everything back in the trailer for the sheep. That includes the show box, which I've not gone through since we last did that, so I need to check that out, make sure everything is there, because I don't want to show up to the show without the stuff I need. So, I'm gonna go ahead and load everything up on the quad that I need to clean the pens, and then I'll meet you guys up there. I'm gonna start with this pen right beside me. All I'm doing is just taking the scoop right here and I'm gonna be scooping and just scraping the manure. And then I'm gonna take the shovel and scoop it and I'm just gonna throw it out in the field where the chickens and the turkeys will go through it. Um, and then whatever is left, the grass will have a little bit of fertilizer and it will just grow a little bit better. So it's a win-win basically. Um, so I'm just gonna do that and then um, it's just pretty simple. You guys have seen me do this a hundred times. So it's probably pretty boring, um, but I'll just show you a quick little clip for my new subscribers. Okay, so that was the first pen. Um, really not too much manure. It was just mostly old hay and stuff. Um, so I didn't really clean it out too much because a lot of the um, bedding in here is still pretty good. So I'm gonna move on to the next pen. I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do. So I don't really wanna put my tripod in the sun with you guys, so I'll just put you guys in the pen here. Alright, so this is the U pen. This is definitely the most filthy because they actually share the pen with the Rams. I've split this pen into two. They share this with the Ram Lambs because during the day the Ram Lambs are out with Hulk in the big field, and then at night they get separated and they're putting in this one because. I have to be right back. It looks like a lamb just escaped. What are you doing? How did you get up here? I don't understand. You, this is number 14. Bodily. What are you doing? You're supposed to be on the other side of the fence. Watch me struggle with this lamp. Ah. I don't know if you guys we could see. So is it working? That lamb got, that lamb got through right in the little, one second. Okay, cracked the nail. There's a little spot right where the gate is, where the green gate is, that they can get through. Um, I've had that ewe lamb, a ewe lamb get through that quite a few times, this weaning group. Um, they've grown quite a bit. It's only like, that big. So, you know, they usually cannot get through that. That, I hate that ram lamb, he drives me nuts. He's the number 14, he's the most friendliest ram lamb. He's one of the triplets off goats, so he's a bottle baby. Um, 
and for some reason he just he got through I don't know how you I mean he's plump he's he's fat so <sighs> I just heard a bunch of clinging around over there and then boom the lambs on the other side of the fence like wow Anyway, back where we were at, clean the pen, not catch and escape animals. Same thing with the ramp pen, I'm just scooping up all the manure. There's basically no bedding left in here, it's just old hay and manure, lots of manure. So this is gonna take me a while. I'll see you guys when I'm done. Everything is all cleaned out here. I just need to clean the coop. So while we're gone, um, it's all cleaned up. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and you guys can come out, come with watch me. I don't know if you guys have even seen me clean the coop before. So I guess I'll, this might be the first. So that's all clean. Uh, I'm not using, if you guys are wondering, I'm not using the pellet as a bedding, but more so to keep the stink down because it does get really stinky down here with all the manure and the urine and all that nasty stuff. So we do try to use that to keep the stench down. Um, and the chips have been working pretty good, but we'll see how the pellets work out and I'll let you guys know. So I did not use the whole bag of pellet in this pen because I wanted to save a little bit for the chicken coop because I need that for the chicken coop. So I'll go ahead in the coop and it looks like there's some chickens in the hen house that are laying some eggs okay let's get started birds i need you out all the poop. Hello? What are you doing in there? You see that one laying an egg? And that one just like buzzing around it. They all love to lay in that nesting box. Like they won't touch the others besides that one in the end. They just like those two. So this one is waiting for that one to get done so it can lay an egg. What are you doing? That's not very nice. Let her take her time. That's rude. <laughs> okay, back to the cleaning. Okay guys, so that's all clean. Lots of pellets in here. I hope they don't eat them. But we're gonna go ahead and work on the hen house. Let's see if that chicken is still laying an egg. <laughs> Are you done? Wow, that's a lot of eggs, thank you. I know that they're probably not in the same chicken. What do you guys think? Nice, huh? 
there is nothing better than having such a nice clean coop and pens. As you can tell, I think I need to move this coop probably this year um, or add some dirt because if you can't tell, there's some like holes here that the dirt has just sunk it into um, from it just being so rainy this year. I don't even know if it's a word, rainy, but you can just see here that there's a hole and currently we don't have a uh, chicken door so they can go upstairs where they're safe because it broke i'll go with that um it broke and it this i'm not a huge fan of this coop because i'll show you guys why so you know this looks like it's really sturdy and it's a nice coop thousand dollar coop um but this is like cardboard like it's super super thin let me show you from another angle you see how like thin that is and bendy and then you can see here it cracked um so i'm not a huge fan of this coop because it's so not like an everyday use kind of coop another thing i hate about this coop is this is the most dumbest thing you know most coops would have this super cool dory flip up you can grab the eggs well this one has this one and it like because it's so again the wood is so thin that it warps and i can't get these to close so if something wanted to take my chickens or their eggs they definitely could because this coop is not the most secure it's just here for the gorgeous looks so when we looked at that also another thing we thought was we thought the roof was metal because the other one just like this had metal yet again it's not this is just here for the looks so i'm not super impressed with the coop when we got it um because they didn't really allow you to go inside and really look at it um this coop is from tractor supplies so if you see this one and it looks like this my regards do not get it because it's just it's not gonna last and it's not there for everyday use or the purpose of having chickens because it's it's a piece of junk. Really, it's a piece of junk. So I'm gonna keep cleaning. Um, they are in here scraping through. Guys, please don't ruin my nice work. Really? Chickens. Okay, I'll show you guys what our next project is. I think that chicken is done laying an egg. I know, it's a disaster. Please don't drop that in the comments. I don't need it. Anyway, here are the eggs, but it, it's a disaster. So this thing, this is the only great thing about this coop. It has this plastic thing that you can take out and you just dump the poop out. So I'll do that. I'll just take this, pull it out, and I'm gonna just take this out and then it and they're kind of just sifting through what do you guys think if i do a good job normally i wouldn't be putting straw and pellets in there like i said i use the muck buster for the chicken coop um but right now i don't really have any so let's get to work i don't really want poop on my tripod or camera so i'll put you guys there Okay guys, so that's all clean. Lots of pellets in here. I hope they don't eat them. But we're gonna go ahead and work on the hen house. Let's see if that chicken is still laying an egg. <laughs> Are you done? Wow, that's a lot of eggs, thank you. I know that they're probably not for the same chicken. What do you guys think? <laughs> nice, huh? There is nothing better than having such a nice clean coop and pens. As you can tell, I think I need to move this coop probably this year um, or add some dirt because if you can't tell, there's some like holes here that the dirt has just sunk it into um, from it just being so rainy this year i don't even know if it's a word rainy but you can just see here that there's a hole and currently we don't have a chicken door so they can go upstairs where they're safe because it broke i'll go with that um it broke and it this i'm not a huge fan of this coop because i'll show you guys why 
So, you know, this looks like it's real sturdy and it's a nice coupe, thousand dollar coupe. Um, but this is like cardboard. Like it's super, super thin. Let me show you from another angle. You see how like thin that is and bendy? And then you can see here it cracked. Um, so I'm not a huge fan of this coupe because it's so not like an everyday use kind of coupe. Another thing I hate about this coupe is this is the most dumbest thing. You know, most coupes would have this super cool dory flip up. You can grab the eggs. Well, this one has this one and it like, cause it's so, again, the wood is so thin that it warps and I can't get these to close. So if something wanted to take my chickens or their eggs, they definitely could because this coop is not the most secure. It's just here for the gorgeous looks. So when we looked at that, also another thing we thought was we thought the roof was metal because the other one just like this had metal yet again it's not this is just here for the looks so i'm not super impressed with the coupe when we got it um because they didn't really allow you to go inside and really look at it um this coupe is from tractor supplies so if you see this one and it looks like this my regards do not get it because it's just it's not gonna last and it's not there for everyday use or the purpose of having chickens because it's it's a piece of junk really it's a piece of junk so I'm gonna keep cleaning um, they are in here scraping through guys please don't ruin my nice work really chickens okay I'll show you guys what our next project is I think that chicken is done laying an egg I know. It's a disaster. Please don't drop that in the comments. I don't need it. Anyway, here are the eggs. But it, it's a disaster. So this thing, this is the only great thing about this coop. It has this plastic thing that you can take out and you just dump the poop out. So I'll do that. I'll just take this and pull it out. And I'm going to just take this out and then clean it and they're kind of just sifting through what do you guys think if i do a good job normally i wouldn't be putting straw and pellets in there like i said i use the muck buster for the chicken coop um but right now i don't really have any so let's get to work i don't really want poop on my tripod or camera so i'll put you guys there Now I changed my battery and I put the mat in, I promise. Oops, right there. Okay, so now I can put the straw in. Again, take two. Okay, straw is in. Now I can put the pellet. Okay everyone, I am done with the chicken coop. I just need to get them some fresh food um, and maybe some grubs, you know, make them feel special. Um, make them feel special so that they'll lay some eggs. 
um, so here we go. We got the food. Just shake it down a bit. They need more. So I'll get them some more. Put that in here. And then I just need to refill their water too. Also, I know you're so sick of my complaints, but I wanted to share one more thing I don't like about this coop that I just thought of. So in the summertime, it gets really hot for them, so I usually will leave this window closed. Again, it does have like, you know, this wire, and then you can put, this is actually a window, so you can put it up and then lock it, you know? Well, the thing I don't like about this, for circulation and, you know, getting the airflow in here, I definitely think they should have put another window in the other side so the airflow goes directly across because they sit on these roosting bars to get the air here but I think it'll be a lot better and won't be so stuffy in here because this usually is closed at night but I don't have it on right now I think they should have put another window on the other side so that the airflow could have gone back and forth and then in the winter you just you know close both windows or one or whatever okay so I definitely think they should have put another window in the back just another one of my complaints and my concerns about this coop that I don't really like so that's another one you guys are probably sick of it anyway I'm gonna go down to the barn get fresh food get fresh water for them and then I'm gonna move on to down below and we are going to get the trailer all set up okay guys so we got this food and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the feeder and then we're gonna go ahead and get started. <sighs> we're gonna go ahead and get started on the trailer. So I'll see you guys when I'm done here. So honestly, I don't really wanna bring this down when it's cracked because I don't want it to spill on me and I'm probably gonna forget it out. So let's just throw it in the ground. It's not bad to throw the eggs in the ground. They aren't fertilized. You know, we don't have any roosters, but it's cracked anyway when I grabbed it. So it doesn't really matter. You know, so. We just throw on the ground and then they will clean it up. So hopefully I did not get anything on my tripod because that would really suck. You see what I mean? They really like the calcium. So they're not paying any attention to the yolk. They're eating the eggshell because that's their calcium. And they are eating a little bit of the yolk, which isn't bad. That's fine. But it's really good, just like we would get our calcium and the sheep get their calcium. It's really important that the chickens get their calcium because if they don't get their calcium, then it's not really great for their health. And, you know, if you want healthy eggs, you also need to make sure that they're getting that calcium and everything else that they need. So, the eggshells have a great source of calcium, plus, you know, you usually will th throw them out in the garbage. Well, actually, you just need to save them and then blend them up in the blender and then you can have, you know, your little, your little um, paste or whatever. Like, you know, it's like dust, it's like powder. Um, you just put that outside, you sprinkle it around, you can put it in a little bowl for them. And they'll actually eat that down so much and then you'll notice your eggs are going to taste better and you're going to also have an increasement of eggs so um that works really well you don't even have to blend them you just like smash them in your hand or whatever or just put them out there um and they'll eat those up so that's a great source of calcium you can also use yogurt so just want to mention that to you guys but we are going to now go down i need to get some food for them and some water so i will see you guys real soon all right, so we have everything for the show right here. I'm just going to go ahead and load it in the trailer. Tack room right here. It's kind of a mess right now because I have all my drill team stuff. I have my saddle. I have my ball. That's not for drill team, but this is kind of my trailer where I keep a lot of my training supplies, like my whip and stuff, to work with Brumby, like, on Liberty training because this ground here on the other side of the trailer is where I, it's basically my arena that I work with him. So I still have my bridle and my helmet, my brushes, my flag, everything in here that I have for training is still in here. Like my saddle, my saddle pad, I still paint it. I don't know why that's in here. 
But that's all in here. I need to clear that out so we have room for the sh stuff we need for the show. So let me do that real quick. Okay, so behind me, I just propped the door open because this door doesn't stay open. I used the pitchfork for that. I'm gonna take everything out of the trailer and load it on the quad. I just, I'm keeping the ball in there because I don't know where else to put it. And then I get everything out. I still have my flag, my helmet, um, my whip. Just the stuff that I don't really want to take out because if I do, I will probably forget about it. Now that basically everything's cleaned out, we're going to put everything in the back for the show in there. Let's do that. mountain of hay bit or hay nets that's all the hay i'm bringing plus that for the sheet for the show so each hay net has the total amount of hay my sheep are going to be eating the entire time we're at reno um so this means one bag per sheep per reno like this is one bag is their entire meal for the whole trip for one sheep so we have three of them since we're bringing three sheep and i have an extra bag for extra hay in case we just need it for the trailer or something just to throw them a little something so that'll stay in the trailer while we're at the show we'll just be bringing those three in and then i have my buckets so i have two water buckets and three buckets for their grain which is right here this is their grain in here the total mixture and then in here is all my show supplies like halters you know actual show stuff and then i have an extra water trough right there and then i forgot to grab it so i'm using it for brumby but this will be the water bucket if we need to top the buckets off. Cause this one's super light. So we'll bring that too. If you are using the first piece. Ouch. And this door is really nuts because it does not stay open. Okay, I think that's everything. I think that's everything, guys. I actually feel a little more confident about the show just a little so i think that's everything i'm gonna be bringing for the show i'm gonna finish cleaning up the mess here of the stuff i took out of the trailer bring it up to the barn and then lock up the trailer but i think we're ready i'm gonna show you guys the situation that i'm planning for the trailer since i'm bringing two ewes and a ram um so obviously they cannot be all together in the trailer because we don't want any accidents happening so, here's the trailer, ignore Burmese poop stains. Um, I was just, I just finished working with him actually, so we're right there. Because we've had problems, he hasn't been loading in the trailer the last couple days. So, um, there's some Brumbies, but I'm going to take it down and actually use it as a trailer hay. guys it's not dinner time yet sorry so that you right there and then you in the back those are the two I'm bringing so my thought was I'm going to use the lambing panels we used to create a lambing pen and I'm thinking of maybe creating a small lambing pen right here for Hulk because we're only bringing one ram and hopefully it'll be good enough to hold him and then as reinforcement I'll probably close the divider the horse divider it's not solid, it's like the rubbery 
stuff, so that sucks, because I don't really make any with this whole divider, because this is a multi-purpose. Um, and then the U's will just, the two U's will just be here in the trailer, and then both sides will have hay, so hopefully this will work. I also want to see if any of my lamp panels are the correct size to just attach directly to here. Um, but we'll see, guys. I'm not really sure. But that's kind of the situation with the trailer. And hopefully we don't have any accidents, nothing goes wrong. Because that really only would not be nice with the trailer full of animals. Anyway, I think that is it for today's vlog. I cannot believe it. It's taken hours. I'm going to finish up cleaning the mess I made here, and then I need to go edit this video. Um, so I think that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm not wearing it right now, but earlier I was wearing my MG Dorp hat. If you're interested in one of those hats, they come in all different colors and different patterns and stuff like that. Go ahead and check out my website. I'll leave the link below for the hats. So if you guys are interested in supporting the business, go ahead and shop MG Dorpers. I think that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for listening and for watching. It's been a series of events this past week and everybody for ready for the show, but I think we're finally almost there where we can actually feel and have the weight lifted off our shoulders for the show because it's super, super stressful. So I think we're good. I will see you guys in the next series of the Reno Show series. I know you guys love it. Um, so the next episode should be either Thursday or Friday. So keep a lookout for those vlogs. Um, I'm going to try my best to film while I'm in Reno. It might be a little weird for me to just be walking around with my tripod like I normally do. So I'll try and film as much as I can with my camera. Uh, the main thing for me is I don't want to lose my camera because it's a GoPro so it's super small and I don't want to get it broken or anything like that because that would really suck. Because yeah, then you guys can't have any more vlogs. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Um, I'm going to try my best to film in Reno so you guys can kind of see what it's like while we're there. Um, I'll mostly be filming while I'm, we're in the hotel room so I can kind of tell you guys how the day went. Um, kind of that. I'll show you a little bit when we arrive. Just I'll try my best to film. Just know that you guys won't get... A lot while we're there because it's very stressful i have to be thinking about my sheep and about the show and about how they look and everything about that but i'll try my best to film um but the next series the next episode you'll see of the series should be on thursday or friday when we're getting everybody ready to go thursday i need to just spruce up the pens a bit add some fresh bedding to it um and I think that's it. No, the vet is coming out on Thursday too. I knew I was forgetting something. The vet is going to come out because they need to health check all three of my animals because we're crossing the border on Torino. So there is a little bit of distance there. So they're going to health check the sheep on Thursday afternoon. So I'll film that for you guys. Other than that, I think I'm pretty much done prepping for the show, getting them ready. Friday morning is the go time. We're going to be washing those three animals. I like to wash them before we go to the show because it's so much easier. You don't have to have the stress of getting the animal clean as fast as you possibly can because everybody at the show is basically washing their animal at the show. So that, that takes up all of the water spigots. So you cannot, you have to like wait an hour for everybody else to get done and then you can wash your animal. So it's a huge wait. Um, um, so I just wash my animals before we go. It makes it so much easier and then that way they stay a little cleaner um, And then the trailer so I'll probably wash them before we go again with the purple shampoo um, And that'll just make it easier for us So I'll wash them that morning so you guys can see what I do I did that last year and it worked out great So I'll wash them before we go that morning and then we'll load them up and we'll get going Because um, I would not like to get there at the end of the day because it's so hot. So we'll see um Again, thank you guys so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the series. Go ahead and check out my Instagram, Facebook, and I also have a podcast for those of you who didn't know. I have my podcast called... you do
Really? Are you guys like dumb or something? <laughs> oh my god. You guys are the worst sheep ever. Don't you know, Boo? You're not supposed to touch the darn electric fence. Oh, they totally ripped it out. Yeah, the, the sheep kind of got their foot or something stuck on the fence. I don't know if maybe it wasn't hot right there. They got their foot stuck and then they freaked out and then they pulled a couple strings out. And then they scared Brumby and then he almost kicked the sheep. Um, they kind of broke one of the insulators, so that goes on the T-post. Um, so I need to go get a new insulator, and right now the fence is not hot, so I need to go bring animals in. Before these guys test the fence again, and I have sheep all over the place. Don't get any ideas. I will lock you in the trailer. Where was I? Yeah. Check out the podcast. Check out the Instagram and the Facebook. Honestly, I don't know. I'll see you guys next time. When these guys are a little more smart. Absolutely unbelievable. I'll see you guys later. Bye. And that the fence is hot, so that means no touching it, no getting your foot stuck in it, nothing. I cannot believe you guys. Who tested it, huh? Scarlet, was that you? No, it was you, wasn't it? You